Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Paul from the Sysadmin channel and today we're going to do a step-by-step -step install of VSXi 5.5. So before we're able to do anything, you're going to need the ISO file from VMware site and a USB stick if you're installing on physical hardware like I am. I've already booted to my USB, so let's get started. All right, so once you boot into the USB, you're gonna be prompted with two options. Let's go ahead and click the ESXi 5.5 standard installer. This is going to take a little bit to load, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed through the process right now and then come back when we're ready. Alright, so that finished loading and it's now prompting us to reboot again, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot, pause recording, and come back. Alright, since I'm using a physical hardware, we're going to go ahead and use the HP logical volume that I created earlier. US default. And entering our secure password, which is not so secure at all. We're going to go ahead and let it do its thing by scanning the system. Should take just a minute. All right, and now we're prompted to install. Let's go ahead and hit F11. And now it's going to get started on the install. This is going to take roughly 10 to 15 minutes or so. So I'm going to fast forward the recording and we'll come back when we're ready. I also wanted to mention that it was stuck at 28% for like a good five, six, seven minutes. So uh, just let it do its thing and, and then it'll eventually get past that part. All right, so it looked like it finished installing. We're gonna go ahead and reboot once more and we'll come back. All right, so now we're back at the prompt. We're gonna go ahead and press on the F2 button, put in our username and password. And then go into our network configuration. We'll go ahead and click on the configure management network. And then we want to statically input our IP address so we can access the host from our network. So we'll go into IP configuration and put in our address. So in my case, I'm going to put it as 172.16.10.105 with a slash 24 mask and I'm gonna set the default gateway to dot one. Right now, since I don't have any DNS servers, uh, that's gonna come next, so I have to leave that blank, but for my host name, I'm gonna go ahead and put it esxi one dot thesysadminchannel.com. All right, and then I'm gonna go into the custom DNS suffixes and put in the sysadminchannel.com as a DNS suffix. Once we made those changes, we're gonna go ahead and reboot yet another time. So I'll be back again. All right, now that that's rebooted, we're gonna go ahead and press F2 once again, and then go into test management network, and we're gonna go ahead and try to ping our gateway which is a router, so it looked like that's good. Um, we're unable to resolve esxi1.thesysadminchannel.com because once again, we don't have any DNS services set up just yet. So once we've tested the network management, let's go ahead and get out of there and go into our browser and see if we can log in from there. So in my browser, I'm gonna type in 172.16.10.105 since that's the IP of my ESXi host. Click on advanced and then proceed to 172.16.10.105 unsafe. Nonetheless, we'll proceed and now you can see that we are in our ESXi 5.5 host. Um, from here, you can either click on download vSphere client or download VMware vCenter. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon.